The dispatcher console, provided with the field service lightning managed package, is the very hub of the field service operation. This is where service managers, schedulers, or dispatchers spend most of their day. The user interface is very crisp and clean, yet it packs a wealth of smart tools and serves a wealth of information so well, so dispatchers rarely have to leave this area at all during the day. The left-hand side offers a list view of all service appointments. It can be filtered to show what is yet to be scheduled, in jeopardy, rule violating appointments, and you can even create your own custom filter. You can use the horizon date to focus on a specific time period. Or, alternatively, select match Gantt dates. The cool part about this list is that it is actionable, so we can easily schedule and dispatch right from the list. The Gantt itself shows all scheduled services based on the timeline that you wish to see. You can toggle from daily to several days, to weekly, to a multi-week perspective on long cycle work, and a utilization view that allows you to evaluate how busy your teams are. Use a filter above the Gantt to define what falls into the utilization category. So for example, you can remove absences and overtime from the calculation. The different metrics are displayed for each individual as well as on a team level. Back on the two-day view, we can see that teams are divided to service territories, which are most often geographic like London and Madrid, but sometimes functional, like sales, installation, or maintenance teams. You can control which territories to load on a Gantt by updating territory filtering. Let's add the Madrid install territory to the Gantt by choosing it from the Favorites tab. Within the service territories, we can see all mobile resources. Internal, contractor companies, crews, and even non-human resources, such as heavy equipment that requires scheduling and assignment to work. Using the filters above the Gantt, you can search, sort and focus on specific resources based on their type or skill set. The service appointments are color-coded depending on their status in their life cycle. For example, scheduled, dispatched, in progress, and so on. You can also leverage palettes to apply a different color scheme to the Gantt. For example, due date approaching will assist with understanding which appointments can be unscheduled and which should not based on how close they are to their due date. Right-clicking on a service appointment opens a rich menu of scheduling actions, for example, change status. Double-clicking on the appointment will provide additional information regarding the service, the work order, and other related records. By clicking on the service resource, we can instantly access further details without leaving the Gantt, including the resource planned route for today. This also allows us to take a look at the actual route and traffic information.
Toggle from Gantt to Map and a powerful interactive map appears. Here you can see the geographical spread of your service appointments as well as your mobile resources. The map goes well beyond though, allowing you to easily visualize any object on the map, whether it's your VIP accounts or distributed storage facilities. In addition, the map allows to create polygons and even use them to define actual service territories. The FSL map is directly related to your scheduling process, making it a tactical as well as a strategic tool. Finally, on the top right of the screen, we see some of the most common and important KPIs that you may need, like total schedule time, average travel time, and jobs completed. We also see rule violations and jobs in jeopardy. This provides a quick health check to your dispatchers and allows them to react to any out of compliance conditions and ultimately provide excellent service to your customers.